Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to filter our data in JASP. Sometimes we want to filter our data so that we're only running analyses on specific subsets of our data set. So for example, in this particular video here, we may only want to run analyses on individuals from Colorado and Texas while we're moving the individuals from New York. To do this in JASP, there are two different ways of doing this. One way is relatively simple and is useful for ordinal and nominal data, and another way is useful for scale but is a little bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and do the simpler version first. For ordinal and nominal data, we can go ahead and click on that variable name, and when we click on it, we'll come to this window here. This is the same window that you use to change the labels for your ordinal and nominal data, but you'll notice on the left hand side here, there's a bunch of check marks. What we can do is we can go ahead and deselect a check mark, and JASP will no longer include that particular category in any analyses. As you see, it's now grayed out over here, and our descriptive statistics changed almost immediately over here. All we have to do is select the different categories that we want to include or don't want to include, and JASP will deselect them in your data here and change it in any results over here. Don't worry, your data is still there, and you can bring it back by just unselecting that particular selection. Unfortunately, this will only work for nominal and ordinal variables. If we want to apply filters to any scale variables, we'll have to use the other option available in JASP. To do that, we can click on the Show Filter button that looks like a funnel over here in the top left-hand corner. Once we select that, we'll come to this calculator here. This calculator is very similar to the calculator used to compute new variables. We can go ahead and move over variables and give instructions to JASP on how to filter things. Let's run through an example. We can move friends over here, and let's say we're only interested in individuals in our data set who have greater than five friends. So we can go ahead and say greater than, and then select five, and then apply pass through filter. Once we've done that, all of the individuals who have less than five friends are now removed from our data set, and they're removed from our descriptive statistics over here. If we want to remove a filter, we can go ahead and do that easily by double clicking on this trash can here. You'll see that our filters are gone and our descriptive statistics are now back to normal. We can also apply filters in a number of different ways using this calculator. For example, sometimes individuals are only interested in the individuals above the 50th percentile in our data set. So for example, let's say I'm only interested in the number of people who work more than the median of hours per week. And so I can go ahead and say hours per week is greater than, and I can go ahead and select this median option over here, and I can have hours per week here, and JASP will calculate the median for me. And when I click the pass through filter, JASP will filter out all of the individuals below the median for hours worked. And you'll see our descriptive statistics changed again. The last thing we can also do is we can apply multiple filters at the same time. Let's say I'm also interested in just looking at the individuals who have less or greater than five friends. I can go ahead and apply that, pass through to a filter as well. And now I only have the individuals who are above the median in hours of work and also have greater than five friends. I can quickly delete both of these filters by again clicking on this trash can. All right, that's how we can use filters in JASP. Thanks for watching.